Hey, what's happening, Surf Sixers? I'm Eric, so that makes you a Surf Sixer, right? Today we are at Uzbekistan. That's the name of the country. So the food is Uzbek food. Let's check it out. The sign says bossing. I think that means push. Sure enough. Let's have a look at the menu, shall we? Salat. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. It's the shakarap salad. Gotta get that. That's pretty unique. It's wonton noodles. They've also got a baker here on site. Oh, we're gonna be ordering some baked goods for sure. What are these called? Somsas. More baked goods. Oh boy, we're gonna be filling up today on the carbs. Shashlik. Oh, these are the shish kebabs. This right here is called the chocolate salad. Pretty gorgeous looking. I like the colors. Cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. And it's in a nice light vinegar sauce. I'm loving it. Sometimes simple is best. It's a salad with no lettuce. Mm -hmm. It's got some fresh lemon too. Look at that. Let's try the tea, shall we? It's unsweetened tea, which unsweetened tea is the best in the world. Meaning any sweetened tea is the worst in the world. But that's just me. It's kind of a mix between Japanese tea, Chinese tea, and Russian tea. That's how I would describe it. Next up is the bread course. We've got what's called non right here. I believe it's this one right here, the tandir non. It comes with this sauce, it's called sumetana. It smells like a meat pie. Try it by itself first. It's nice and warm. It's got some spices. Interesting. A bit on the dry side, but no worry. We've got this. It looks like a creamy mayonnaise or sour cream or something, doesn't it? What is it? Or is it hummus? This is sour cream. Sour cream yogurt. That's what it is. I want to eat all of it right now, but then I won't have any room for the rest of the dishes. Some more dishes have arrived, and now we're gonna have some meat, it looks like. Yes, I really thought there was meat in this. I think I was smelling the meat from these other dishes being prepared in the back. Let's get into this soup. It's called Choo Choo Wada. It's got wonton in it and yogurt in the bottom of it. He said stir it up. There's the wonton. Oh, all kinds of goodies in this soup. It's looking really, really hot. I think I'm gonna pass. Let's dig in on the meat right here. Look at this lovely platter of meat. Huge shish kebabs here. Beautiful presentation here with the onions on top. Looks like we've got, what, chicken and mutton, perhaps? Oh, that's looking good. Into the bowl we go. Not that much. Mix these up. Oh, yeah. All right, start with the chicken. It's smoky. It's kind of similar to tandoori chicken but it's definitely more juicy. All right, moving over to the mutton. Oh, I like it. This is smoky as well, too. That is delicious. Wow, get some, you guys. Get in there. Have a go at it. I think I equally like the chicken and the mutton. Okay, we're back on the chichuata soup again. I think it's cooled down. Let's get into it. All kinds of goodies in here. I guess we start with the wonton. It's a tomato-based soup. This is maybe the best tomato-based soup ever. Oh my goodness. So many flavors going on here. So soft, the wonton. And the meat's nice and tender. Oh my goodness. Lots of veggies in here too. I don't even like tomato-based soups, but this is fantastic. Oh, the wonton and the meat in there. Oh, but it's, it's all about the herbs, though. The herbs just make it incredible. This is Oskabak Somsa. It's a pumpkin bun, pumpkin bread. Just dig right in. Oh, it's a pastry. Look at that. Oh, my. Going in. This is a really good pastry. Oh, my goodness, and that pumpkin is so tasty. This place is more than a restaurant. It's a bakery, too. It's a first-class bakery. Oh. It's very similar to a croissant. It's, it's in layers. But what is it? There's a spice to it. It's just hard to really describe. 
spicy, like a, almost like a ginger or something. Very nice. This dish is called Honim. It looks like a Chicago deep dish pizza, doesn't it? Probably closer to a lasagna. I don't think there's any cheese. There's yogurt sauce. You get a massive bite going in. Tastes like baby food. Blech. One star. This is like yuck. It's tomato based, that's why I'm not really fond of the tomato base. It looks fabulous, but it tastes like baby food. There's not much to it. What do we have here? This is called Lagmon. It is a noodle dish. You can see there's one noodle peeking out right there. It's a thick noodle, like an udon noodle. But oh my goodness. Celery, onions, what else we got here? Bell peppers, all kinds of goodies here. It's got some meat in it too. It's just packed with stuff. It's looking like it's gonna be a tomato base. Let's try the soup first, shall we? Soup test. Soup and onion test. Soup, onion, and pepper test. That same tomato base as the previous wonton soup. It's mm. delicious. It's a tougher meat. A stew, for sure. Definitely some, some more <laughs> tough meat. There is so much stuff in here. This is a meal in itself right here, for sure. Look at that. Oh, boy. Noodles are pretty basic. Soup is tasty. There's also cilantro in here. Gives it a nice spiciness. Makes it taste like soap, which is nice. You take a bath in here. I know some of you can't stand cilantro. I used to be that way. This might just be the most heartiest bowl of noodles ever. Oh, goodness. This dish is called Dem Lama. It's a stew with various goodies in it. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what's in it because it's under this topping of onions. So let's dissect it, shall we? Potatoes in the center. That's what's going on. Potatoes. We've got some tomatoes. What we got here? This looks like rice in a pepper, maybe. And this is lamb. No, not lamb. This is sheep right here. <laughs> sheep. What do we start with? Gotta start with the meat, don't we? You don't even have to cut it. Oh, it's tender. Tender and juicy, look at that. Oh. That tastes really amazing. Whoa, it's marinated in a, just a beautiful sauce. Oh, that is good. The food just keeps on coming. Oh, what do we have here? This is fried rice. I mean, fried rice. What did I say? Got two eyeballs looking at you. Get the uh, what's in here? I guess you just dig in the mutton again, the sheep, the quail egg maybe. It's very sweet, and the rice is wet. It's not dry. I'm so used to Japanese rice. This is um, it's not sticky rice. Here we go. This is my kind of dish right here. Steak and eggs. There we go. Much better. The dessert has arrived, and this is called Vatanim. The name of the restaurant is also called Vatanim, and that name means hometown. So if the name of the dessert is the name of the restaurant, you know it's got to be good, right? Going in. This might just be the best dessert ever. Oh, how can I describe it? It is a fruitcake, but it's an ice cream as well, too. It's just so concentrated and full of flavor nuts in here there's cranberries oh my there's cream cheese mm -mm. uzbek cuisine this place was phenomenal that's right full six nom 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 every dish was just incredible lots of different varieties i really really enjoyed it thoroughly this was uh one of the best of the six ratings i think i've given in a while so I'm gonna give away three. I'm gonna get some snack packs to you guys as my thanks for watching my videos. So there'll be a link up here. You can check it out and see what's inside. Lots of goodies that I assemble and send out to you. So just leave a comment down below on this video and I will announce three winners in the next Eric Meal Time video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you in the next one.
Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.